Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be dissecting the best frost and bleed build. So the main trick to this build is of course proccing frost and bleed. And with bleed proccing and attack power being boosted by bleed and successive hits, we can really break enemies health bars and melt them down. Now as you know, fire actually resets the frost status. That's where the problem starts. When you reset Frost, you are also resetting that 20% debuff. Now, this is his build. We said in the build breakdown that you do want 60 Vigor. 15 Mind, he has a reason for it, so I'm not going to dock him on that. Of 24 Endurance. Now, as we said in our build breakdown, you don't want more endurance than you need, and you don't really need all that much endurance with this build. 80 dexterity, that's fine. Keen is okay with the Raptor Talons, especially since he wants to buff it. 15 intelligence, that's not good. Frozen Armament costs 15 intelligence and gets 60 frostbite buildup. So instead of that, you could use the Freeze Grease, which also gives 60, but you don't require the 15 points in intelligence. He also has 25 faith for Golden Vow. Then he also does it fires Deadly Sin. That's less fine because as we said if you reset frost it is a worse bleed for my improved build i do think that this is more of a thematic build than a actual best build but since he claimed it was the best frost bleed build i'm gonna have to critique it as such it is not you do not have 60 vigor in my updated build you do have 60 vigor you have 19 endurance which is the most you need you have 36 strength 45 dexterity but with millicents that's going to go to 50 and then 45 arcane so that's going to optimize the damage stats for the blood infusion but we are also going to use cold now we have the white mask raptors black feathers tree sentinel gauntlets and tree sentinel greaves that's going to give us the 51 poise breakpoint that we talked about he actually had a very good talisman setup and i would not change that i always recommend radon's rune if you need that extra stamina otherwise morgoth's gonna be better because it gives more hp for the crystal tier we have the same crystal tier setup the reason that we are doing dual bandit curve sword is better than claws so we are going to buff bandit's curve sword the blood version with seppuku and the cold version with chilling mist so with chilling mist activated you're gonna have 225 frost buildup and with seppuku activated you're going to have 148 bleed buildup thank you for watching me fix this build i am the lord